Hey guys, d Charger here, and today we'll be doing a video discussing the updates that have been implemented, or going to be implemented, into Duel Links. Uh, considering that these changes are going to be in effect. So, actually let's take a look at this first before I begin the discussion. Uh, so these will be upgradable via Prismatic. Okay, for a short amount of time. Uh, that's alright. Probably upgrade some cards later on. Yep, yeah, alright. So, anyway, on to the real discussion. Uh, revisions to the effect resolution. Advanced notice. Updates to the official rules for the Yu-Gi-Oh! official card game were announced on 16 of March 2020. These changes will also be implemented into Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Now, if you don't, re uh, if you don't know, uh, Duel Links is run by the OCG, so Japan in a way, kind of. They just translate the uh, uh, the text and stuff into English, but. Uh, resolutions will take place in effect on April 1st, usually in the TC in the OCG. So these changes will be applied when updating to uh, version 4.6, which will become available sometime between 17 to 20 of April. So these uh, so basically this will take effect between those days. Now this is actually a very very big thing because if you don't know, today was uh, today they announced the OCG rule updates uh, that will take place. Uh, for the new master rule, uh, I think it's master rule 4.5 or 3, whatever. It's it's kind of like going backwards uh, because we're going back to master rule 3 for the uh, actual card game rather than duel links. But they will take effect because they play the same kind of rulings and stuff. It's just the only thing that's different in duel links is the uh, no, there's no main phase two and uh, oh yeah, there's no main phase two. That's pretty much it. <laughs> and the oh wait no, the other thing is the the uh, the game, pretty much the size of the monster and spell and trap zones are actually smaller. So that's the only difference. So spell and trap zones and no main phase two monster spell and trap zones. So uh, this will take place during April 17th and April 20th. So monsters that effects that are triggered when the monster leaves the field. This is a interesting effect. So uh, interesting um, monster effect, or should I say card effect update? So monsters effects with the text when if so when effects or if effects if this card leaves the field uh, will can activate when said monster is sent from the field to the extra deck. So after so pretty much the effect is this is the before one the before effect and now this is will be after. So this is what will, this is what will change. So monster effects with the effect when if this card leaves the field uh, will not activate when said monster is sent from the field to the extra deck. So if you were to re uh, return back, let's say, I don't know, in the, in the OCG they said absolute, absolute zero, uh, elementary hero absolute zero, so if you were to return, like, say, a monster that has an effect where it leaves the field, uh, let's say, Sangan, for example, that's a monster. So, what happens is, uh, not Sangan, but, uh, I don't know, what's another card? I don't know, I don't know, I'm not too sure what we have for Duel Links, but, uh, basically, if if the extra monster has an effect where it leaves the field and it gets sent from the grave to the graveyard or le uh, gets banished, whatever, or basically pretty much when it leaves the field in general, it won't activate if it's sent from the extra deck because it's not uh, public knowledge due to the fact that when it gets re uh, revealed, it doesn't happen. So, a monster with effects that activate when they are sent from the field to the extra deck will, not, will still activate when they are sent from the fi uh, field to the extra deck, but they won't resolve properly. So, an example. Um, if the effects of monsters such as Moki Moki King, Samurai Destroyer, and Go Emperor will not uh, or cannot activate when they are sent from the field to the extra deck. So that's very very important when you're uh, literally uh, uh, understanding the updates. So this is number two, activation trigger activation conditions for trigger effects. Uh, before, where with some exceptions, cards were able to activate their trigger effects as long as their activation condition was met, even if they were sent to a different location or a different location that is not properly displayed. Uh, so yeah, if they... Uh, so trigger effects are effects that activate when a certain action is done. So let's say if this monster leaves the field, for example, uh, activate this effect by doing this and this. Uh, it's not a, it doesn't have a when effect or if effect, it just says do this particular effect uh, when it leaves the field in a way. So after is now changed, so 
Cards can no longer activate their trigger effects if it was sent to a different location or a location that is not public knowledge. So if it's returned to the hand, uh, it's not considered public knowledge if they are following the OCG rules, which I'm not sure if they will, because uh, now I believe, I'm not too sure, uh, but I'll keep reading just in case I'll uh, explain later on. So, if the location was moved where it is fulfilled its activation requirement before its effect activates, the ad effect will, can no longer activate. If the, if the card text says when this monster uh, when this card is summoned, this means it, this means it must remain in the monster zone until the effect activates. So it has to activate on the field. Finish. Uh, so it has to resolve on the field when it was summoned. So anything that affects the summon requirements has to fulfill when it's on the field. So if it gets removed off the field when it's summoned, so the on summon effects uh, when they uh, change, this is very very uh, deadly to the effect requirement. If the card text says when a monster is sent to the graveyard, it must be in the graveyard to activate. If the card text says when this card is destroyed, it must either be in the graveyard or banish. So, it, it, so yeah, when this card is sent to the graveyard, it must be in the graveyard to activate. Yeah, to activate. If this card when this is destroyed, so this is a very very key thing. When this card is destroyed, so if it doesn't specify a location of where it gets sent, that is fine. This can activate in the graveyard or banished. Uh, must either activate or banished. So if it gets destroyed and I don't know, let's say destroyed and sent to the hand, it's not technically public knowledge for the hand, so you can't actually reveal. So that's the thing I have to talk about. So card effects that aren't public knowledge won't actually activate. So let's. So the hand is technically not public knowledge. Uh, when it comes to the rulings, new rulings. Well, that's if they're going to implement it into uh, doings because uh, usually when it comes to uh, certain effects where you have to reveal certain, certain cards, uh, they usually do activate and they still reveal. But if they are following the OCG updates, this is very, very key. So if they are following the OCG new implementations, uh, they will update literally everything. So anything that's not public knowledge will not re be revealed. So keep that in mind. So extra deck is not public knowledge unless the card effect specifies that you have to reveal the extra deck. Or if a card effect states that it has to reveal the hand. So if it's not uh, saying that specific requirement, it won't activate. So keep this in mind when you are playing uh, with the new updated rulings. This is very, very important if you are trying to win the games. Oops, I went too far. Um, so let's say, ah, here's some examples. Example one, if a flip, if a flip effect monster is flipped face up at chain link 2 or higher and spellbook of fate is activated on the same chain, uh, chain link 2 flip the effect monster face down again, the effect of uh, the effect monster will not activate. So that is a very very big thing because that means uh, anything that um, moves positions or moves the card in general uh, is very 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 strong in the new, in the new rulings for duelings. Very very powerful. So spellbooks kind of got a update in a way, and also there are some cards that flip face down also uh, also uh, get an update as well because that is very very strong. So if a flip effect monster in defense position is attacked by Aaron the Light Swan Monk, uh, flip face up, then return the X to the deck with the effect of Aaron Monk. Its effect will not activate. Uh, Aaron is a very unique effect because what it does is it. At, at the start of the damage step, or during the damage, I can't remember which one, well, how Eren works. So Eren's effect states that when it attacks a monster in, the, in defense position, uh, it shuffles it back into. I'm not sure if it's face up or face down. Uh, if you're reading it now, then you'll you know the card text ruling, uh, card text itself. But uh, Eren has an effect where it attacks a defense position monster, it returns it back to the deck. So if it's attacking a face down monster, uh, the effect will not trigger. It will just uh, kind of slightly reveal, or oh, maybe one reveal. It will just return back to the deck uh, without actually triggering. So yeah, very, very. Well, actually, no, it will reveal, but then it will return back to the extra deck. It will return back to the deck because uh, it was not properly um, flipped face up. So effect number three, example number three. If the effect of Black Rose Dragon that destroys up, uh, destroys and banishes all cards on the field is activated, you can chain Graceful Revival to the effect in order to special summon Cyber Petite Angel. Uh, its effects cannot be activated because it will not be on a field when the chain resolves. So this is kind of like a North America TCG type of ruling. 
So it's like a similar ruling to Call of Haunted versus the Neb. It has to. Uh, this is the this is the American ruling. So this is different to the European uh, European ruling because we don't know if we're going to get the update. Considering we do follow kind of follow the uh, Japan stuff, but uh, this might treat this might work a bit differently. I'm not too sure, but I'll have to ask uh, the judge, uh, my Australian judges, uh, to actually see if we actually do get the same update as well. Because I am in contact with some Australian. Actually, no, I am in a uh, Australian. Yu-Gi-Oh group page, so I will be able to contact them after I make this video, just to confirm everything. So, Effect of Black Rose Dragon activates and destroys and banishes all the cards on the field, and chain creates revival. So, what it does, what creates, think of Grace Revival as like a powerful rebirth, for example. So, if it, it's act, instead of a pow, a graceful revival, uh, think of it like uh, it, think of like powerful rebirth. So, when you reborn the monster, it will attempt to activate when it's sent. To the graveyard when Black Rose destroy it, but since uh, the new ruling states that if it's not on a field to activate when it's summoned, it will not activate in the graveyard because it wasn't properly summoned. So that's a very very key thing. So it's not on the field anymore when it resolves. So it has to resolve where uh, it has to resolve its effect on the condition of how it's activating its effect. So if it states that if it's summoned. It has to activate on the field in the monster zone when it is summoned. So if it's removed off the field before it can resolve its effect, it will not resolve. So this is in a way kind of like missing the timing. In a way, but it's like it's you have to know how to manipulate or you need to know how you're gonna resolve your effects before you activate cards. So if you get cosmic cyclone, well that's well, if it got Cosmic Slack with a powerful rebirth, then it won't summon in a way. Or will it? I don't know. I think it has to equip to a monster if, powerful, if it's equipped to powerful rebirth. I don't know. I can't remember uh, powerful rebirth's effect, but that's how it works. Uh, so, number three card conditions that prevent you from special summoning with artifacts until the end of the turn. So, before, you were unable to special summon with other card effects when the special summon monster was negated. So after is now changed to special summon uh, restrictions will now be based on uh, on the number of times you successfully special summon rather than the number of time you special summon. If a monster, if a special summon monster is negated, it is not counted. So that's very very big thing to happen because if uh, you were to, oh, I don't know if you know, do we even have negations in duelings right now? Uh, for summons, uh, we don't have that many technically. We have on summon destruction, but we don't have on summon negations. So yeah, that's um, we don't have solemns yet. Oh, we should wait. Do we do have one solemn? Uh, but we it's not really to play that much, and it requires a lot of life points. So yeah, if the summon was negated, for example, uh, you can summon it again. So if the special summon was negated. Uh, you can summon another one because they count it counts as not actually being successfully summoned so well it's not technically counted as the actual summon itself so special summon was stopped so technically if it has a special effect where it says you can only special summon this once per turn beforehand you can uh, you can't actually summon this because you're already tempted to special summon but now since the new ruling states that if the monster was uh, if the monster that says it can only be special summoned once per turn was negated, it can be special summoned again if you have another copy in your possession. So wherever it's located, technically, if you have another one in your hand or on or in your grave, uh, not in your graveyard. If you have one in your hand or in your extra deck, or if it's an effect on a field of a monster that can summon another, uh, another copy of that one that got negated. So yeah, if that makes sense to anyone. So here's an example. If the Synchro Summon of Shirinui, Shirinui Squire Saga is negated by Champion Vigilance, oh yeah, we do actually have Champion's Vigilance, but no one plays it. Uh, you can still special summon Squire on the same turn. So if you have, if you have another copy of Squire Saga, you can summon another one. Uh, because I think Squire Saga says you can only special summon it once per turn. So you can summon another one if it gets negated for the summon. Very, very big thing. Okay, continuous trap cards that are treated as monsters when activated. Okay, so I believe this one specifies that uh, it won't clog up the spell and trap zone. 
So when a continuous trap card that is treated as a monster is activated, when the spell the spell trap card zone that the card was originally placed cannot be used until the continuous trap leaves the field. So the newest one uh, it does have the same bullying. Uh, it has that effect, but I'm not sure if they're gonna rather it in duelist. I'll have to check it uh, after this. When a continuous trap card it, that is treated as a monster is activated, the spell trap zone that was originally placed can be used to set or activate spell trap cards. Okay, so you have to, okay, here it is, Embodiment of Apophis. So yeah, Nubis or Apophis, I can't remember the name of it. If you activate a set uh, Apophis, Apophis, yeah, I can't pronounce the name, and special summon it to your monster zone, you can still use the spell trap zone that this card, uh, so pretty much Odeon's main mon uh, main trap that you get from unlocking that card was set in, so that's very very big. If yeah, if embodiment uh, is flipped face down, it will be set in the play spell and trap zone. So that's uh, so yeah. If embodiment is changed face down position, it will be placed face up in the play spell and trap zone. Wait, what? If embodiment is changed face down position, it will be placed in the it will be placed face up in the play spell and trap zone. Wait, what? Is changed to face down. Oh, face down, it changes to face up. Huh? That actually, that's actually a really weird ruling. So, if one of is flip face down, it will be set in the spell and trap zone. Flip face down, it will be in spell and trap zone. If one is changed to face down, it will be placed in the face. So which one's correct? They both flip the face down. I'm confused. Uh, if embodiment of problems is flipped face down or negated, while you have a no open space in your girlfriend, it will be sent to graveyard. Okay, so it'll be sent to graveyard instead. So rules and card rulings and changes are subject to change to improve the game balance and increase uh, play enjoyment. In addition, rulings may change again in the future, so please be mindful when exchanging cards you own. Uh, this will be this will be all for this time. We try to create a well balanced environment. Okay. Thank you for playing Duelings. Okay, let's check out uh, Embodiment of Apophysis. Just to see if uh, if they are going to arrive it. So I just want to see the ruling real quick. So it states that during E-Play's main phase, they should summon this card in the spell. They summon it as a normal monster. Reptile. Okay, so it also continues to So this card... Okay, it's already got the same effect. So Okay, so let's see. Let's check some other trap cards. Oops, I went to the extra deck. Now it's game's freezing because it takes a while to load. Okay, so let's see. Uh, load, please. Uh, da -da -da -da. So let's see. This card. Uh, I'm just going to remove this one. That doesn't look. Right, let me see how powerful rebuff works. Um, so that one's changed. Um, this one. Activate card by targeting. No, 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 no. Special on this card. Is and then equip this. Okay, so this is a equip one. There are I let's see. I just got special summon this card is a normal monster. So this card will be this card is also treated as trap card. Okay. So this card also is similar to the embodiment. So this card will be placed in the spell in the monster zone rather than keeping it in the spell trap zone as well. But actually this is kind of similar as the way it is. So that doesn't really need that much change. Uh so these change? Special summon this as an effect monster. So yeah, this will be counted in the um, yeah in the monster zone as well. So it used, I think these ones used to be in the spell and trap zone as well. Uh, trap card you control there's monster will be destroyed by opponent's card effect. Maybe you can set in the spell and trap zone instead. So yeah, a lot of things are going to be interestingly, interestingly, interestingly. I cannot press out. Can I press out that word? Interestingly, that's it. Uh, updated. So yeah, that's uh, very very big for OCG changes to Duel Links. So I guess we're getting it in a way, but I'm not too sure of how that works. 
But yeah, that's all I need to uh, say for this video. Be very, very mindful when you are summoning monsters and activating cards on when they're when they're resolving. So this mostly affects monsters. So this is going to be very, very crucial on how you uh, plan out your uh, your monster uh, monster summoning from now on. So keep that in mind. Keep saying keep that in mind, but you need to be very, very mindful. Uh, this is going to be updated for the OCG, which means it's going to be updated for Duel Links as well. So the OCG, so the Duel Links follows the OCG rulings rather than the uh, TCG rulings. So yeah, that's going to be very, very big in terms of uh, changes. But yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. Hope you guys uh, read this very, very carefully because this is very important as you will be needing this uh, rule change if, uh, hints and stuff uh, pretty much rulings and stuff uh, for learning how to play um, your monsters in the future but yeah this is Isha Shirt signing out bye